Autobiography, Chapter 5 Jennifer had terrapins that nipped your finger, and I think she got a bit bored when they got big and were not so cute anymore. Her gerbils, she didn't feed properly, and they died. And Chester the cat had run, so back to the shop he went. Obviously, the colourful array of cats we had, including a si Siamese called Poppy, were very nice. I would not enter the room where the cat was. I was petrified of cats when I was young. Funny pet for such a child. <laughs> Though 30 years later, I have had five cats already. Another strange fact. Also, the one-week puppy. Had a puppy for a week, and I think it, it was too much hassle for us being at school all day. Cameron, my little brother, is the Malteser boy, I swear. There was a power cut at home one day and it was only one or two and he must have got so scared when the lights went out he pooped all over but it was like Maltesers. Not only that, when he was around nine years old he played a hilarious joke on me. He said he was going out for a poo. Going to the toilet, sorry. Nice, nice to know. And when he returned he said hold out your hand and close your eyes. I have a lovely present for you. Oh, I thought, something silly, no doubt. No, it was something disgusting. It was a poo like a Maltese I dropped in my hand. All he said was it's a Maltese. I did actually scream at that. What's more, he kept the wretched thing in a box in his room for quite a while. I recall it went black. Strange, strange boy, but thoroughly entertaining. He told people at college and it also went down very well with the tutor. Found it very funny. He was laughing.